and speak to Felicity Cadlick. Good evening, Felicity. Hello. How are you doing, Felicity? Well, I'm doing great. I, I just took Kelly to out for a ride, and I we feel great. Yeah. So, um, uh, you so you're having a you're getting married to a zombie doll. Lately, a ton of you have been tweeting and DMing me about a Facebook account belonging to one Felicity Cadillac Rossi. At first, I honestly had no idea what this was when people asked by name, and once I pulled up the page, it still didn't ring any bells. As far as I could tell, it appeared to be one of your run-of-the-mill creepy Facebook pages, this time with a zombie doll theme and an owner who claimed to be married to one. The pair even had their names tattooed on each other. On the surface, it did appear to be either an attempt at making a creepy viral page or a PR stunt of some sort. I do have other things in the works, so I wasn't sure if I'd even have time to cover this, and if I did, I initially wondered if it would even be enough material to warrant making a video about it. After all, it was just a page with pictures and not much else. What was there to say? Just about to dismiss the whole thing, I decided to Google the name out of curiosity, and to my surprise, there's actually a ton of coverage on Felicity. Again, odd because no one brought this up to my attention or requested that I talk about it late last year when the initial news about her came out. There are actually dozens of articles about Felicity and her zombie doll, Kelly, and her story was even covered by Dross several months ago. Now, despite this, everyone asking me what's going on here seemed to have just discovered the account recently and have no idea what to make of it. Unfortunately, I haven't really gotten any specific questions about the page aside from the general WTF, so for those of you who need more context or maybe if you're wondering if this is a PR stunt, allow me to explain. Majority of the coverage surrounding Felicity is dated around August of 2018. At the time, all the headlines were something along the lines of teenager planning on marrying zombie doll, and that's actually not as clickbait as it sounds. In fact, that's probably the easiest way to summarize what happened. In the articles, it's explained that 19-year-old Felicity Cadillac of Massachusetts was going to be marrying her zombie-themed doll, Kelly, and that the couple by that point had been together for three years. Felicity explains that Kelly had been given to her as a gift at age 13, but also adds that she didn't develop feelings for the doll until age 16, although at the time, she denied it. As for where the doll came from, according to Felicity, from the internet, but she doesn't exactly mention what specific site. Over time, Felicity has added other dolls to her collection. For the most part, that's all the articles say. Most of them appear to be copy-pasted versions of each other with little substance and an overdependence on the title. Given this, of course, people still have questions. The most pressing, naturally, being if this is some kind of hoax or performance art or PR stunt. And from what I could find, nope, it's real. Some thought this because Felicity is the author of a book titled Zombie Blood, which was released in 2016, and that would have honestly been my first guess as well, but after hearing Felicity talking at length, this isn't the case. Felicity did a 20-minute interview with Lane Lee, where she explained various aspects of her relationship with Kelly, including how people tend to react to it. At one point, the topic of mental health comes up, and the host asks Felicity if she's been seeing a therapist or psychiatrist, which Felicity confirms. Note, I bring this up because I've noticed comments asking why Felicity isn't seeing a professional, and to clarify, according to her, she actively is, and the doctor is aware of Kelly. In the interview, Felicity also opens up about the recent loss of her father and her ongoing struggles with depression. She also notes how harsh people online have been in reaction to Kelly, mentioning how people send her hurtful messages over the matter. Now, with that said, in the normal theme of this channel, I want to point out that this time, this isn't an ARG or attempt at something creepy, but an actual person who, according to the interview, struggles with her mental health but uses her doll, Kelly, as a way to help her cope. In case you think this is too bizarre to be real, Felicity isn't actually the only person out there to have a relationship with a doll or inanimate object. Depending on where you're from, you may have already seen many stories like this covered on TV, whether it be in shows or the news. The sexuality is currently known as object sexuality or objectophilia. 
and some famous cases include both men and women falling for everything from the Eiffel Tower to a projection of a fictional character. The thing is, though, despite these stories being so widespread, not much research has been done on objectophilia, and as such, not much about it is known. All in all, the Felicity Cadillac page is exactly what it appears to be, which I'm sure most people weren't expecting, especially given the current climate of viral creepiness online, but again, this isn't an ARG or something done for entertainment, but rather a real person and her doll. Now, with that said, I hope this cleared up any confusion surrounding this topic, and I'll see you all again soon.